In just a few weeks, Pride celebrations will kick off across the country to highlight the struggles and the fight for equality and to celebrate what it means to be LGBTQ. It's the largest Pride parade in the nation. It takes place every June in New York City with over two million people coming out to march and participate in the events. But as our nation continues to undergo a social reckoning on policing in America, the organization in charge of running the Pride Parade in New York City is making headlines after announcing that police, they say, will be banned from participating in New York City Pride events through 2025, the next four years. So for more, let's bring in former New York City Police Department Chief of Detectives and ABC News contributor Robert Boyce and Brian Downey. He's president of the Gay Officers Action League. Thank you both for being here. It's an interesting subject at an important time. So, Brian, let me begin with you. Uh, Heritage Pride released a statement that uh, says they're the ones that are running the parade. They say their decision to ban police officers was taken to create a safe space for attendees who do not always feel safe around law enforcement, specifically trans and uh, uh, BIPOC communities. And what do you make of New York City Pride organiz organizers excluding police in this way? Well, well, first off, uh, thank you for letting me uh, uh, join you today. Um, you know, I, I run the Gay Officers Action League of New York. Um, we're an organization comprised of um, LGBTQIA plus criminal justice professionals, friends, allies. Um, you know, I, I think that our stance on um, people uh, don't always feel safe uh, around the police is um is pretty clear i think as you know i've been running the organization since 2016 and we have many many times acknowledged that uh you know not everybody has the same experience with the police or the criminal justice system i think that at our organization uh one of the the big things that we do is we train our non-lgbtqia plus counterparts in sensitivity and awareness, um, and I'm sure uh, Chief Voice can attest that you know we serve as as policy advisors uh, for best practices for law enforcement executives. So um, we are members of the community. We are uh, people of color in the Gay Officers Action League. We are transgender people. We bring that struggle into into the agencies, into the. Uh, you know, every day, the struggle that we've had uh, since we were children with our, our sexual or gender identities, we're bringing that struggle into a system that historically hasn't always been for us. So I think to take the people that are doing that work out of out of this march uh, on the last Sunday in June uh, is a mistake. And it's and it's and it's hurtful to to these people who've done so much work. Uh, to advance uh, that cause. Uh, Brian, you're referencing this in some way. Many LGBTQ NYPD police officers actually march in this parade every year. So I'm curious if you've spoken to the officers and how they are feeling about this decision to ban NYPD from the parade. Uh, they feel hard. I mean, it's, it's their march. Um, it's their event. Uh, no one gets to own Stonewall as a as a moment or a movement. That moment and that movement belong to the entire community. Um, I've heard. I'm hearing from my members now as I'm as I'm speaking to you. Um, my phone hasn't stopped uh, since since Friday, and uh, it's been pretty pretty uh, consistent. People uh, feel sad. People are um, upset. Would be putting it lightly. And some people feel uh, feel terrified that they feel like they're being, you know, thrown out of their own community. And uh, and I, I think that's a very dangerous message because where does that stop? You know, let's also look at, you know, we have five democratically elected district attorneys in the uh, in the in the city of New York. Are are they uh, disinvited as well, or is it just the Gay Officers Action League? You know, is it the FBI? Um, you know, there are there are a lot of people that have very strong feelings on the uh, and you were just talking about, uh, about it on your show about, um, you know, Israel and, and Palestine. Those, there's very, very strong sentiments in, in, in a lot of different spaces. Are we going to ban uh, gay Jews? Who's next? 
Uh, Robert, New York City Pride is a huge event that spans multiple parts of the city over several days. Should people feel safe going to Pride this year if police are banned from participating? Hi, Eva. Great to be here. So, um, so they should s still feel safe. Though I do have some um, some issues with it. They're talking about tribe uh, trained private security. They don't have the depth of knowledge and experience or the resources of the NYPD to to run this parade. And I will tell you, just going back to Brian, I'm one of the people who called you, by the way, Brian. Uh, early, you haven't got back to me, but that's okay. Uh, one of the issues I had with this is outrage, because I know how the goal, how the gay officers actually works. Uh, a lot of them are detectives who work for me. They are great, courageous people. And, 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 I, and I sympathize with them to have to go through this. This is a group, the HOP, the Heritage of Pride, that runs the parade. They should well know exclusion and disparate treatment. Uh, to, have, to do this to uh, officers uh, is just, it's, it's an outrage. And I'll tell you, having worked so many of these parades personally, uh, no one gets a bigger cheer than the gay officers actually when they, when they march by. Uh, it, it makes no sense on so many levels because I've known what they've done and how they've furthered LGBTQ rights, how hard they worked, and what kind of heroes they are. Not only are they great cops, but they're great you know, humanitarians as well. So this, this is just a failure. We're in the mi middle of uh, the beginning, I should say, of the parade season in New York. It's a celebratory, celebratory time. And to have the, try to exclude the NYPD in any way is clearly a mistake and is an egregious mistake. You know, and Bob, uh, th thinking back to the origins of the gay rights movement in our country, uh, the Stonewall riots back in 1969, uh, when LGBTQIA plus people in that bar just wouldn't take it anymore uh, as the police tried to bust up their, their gathering. More than 50 years later, uh, now we're seeing protests, you know, by people who simply don't feel they can take uh, the kind of policing of, of, of people of color in this country, the death of George Floyd and so many others who've died at the hands of the police. So it seems like we do have these crises. Do you feel that we move forward? Do you feel that, that whatever lack of trust there is between the gay community in New York uh, and the police uh, is, is, is better than it was? It must be, right? Of course it is. And it's, 50, it's over 50 years ago, Terry. We've come so far since that time. I, I really, it's, it's impossible to put into words how far we've come how we worked in lockstep with the HOP on this parade. Uh, and I'll tell you, up until about two years ago, there was none of this. So I think there's some new change in, in their organization that has been asked for this. We're trying to get through this, this, this anti-police, defund the police ma mantra. It's not working. Crime is going through the roof. There is a real peril here in the city right now. It's a changed city. It's not the same. We need to all come together. We need new leadership to do that. Hopefully the, um, the mayor all candidates understand that, and most of them do, at least the ones that are leading in the polls, that we have to get past these, these old things and go forward, which we have. Brian has been a great detective for a long time. So, um, and I think he represents gold better than anybody. So to have, be exclusionary, to have all these things done, it just doesn't make any sense at all. And we should stop and come together. And it's time to do it. This the parade does not go off if it, you know, and uh, we're still under the mayor's executive order of no parades, but I think that'll change in a week or two. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're still have time to get this changed, and I really hope we do. All right, it's a really important story, and we thank you both for helping us out with it. Former New York City Police Department Chief of Detectives and ABC News contributor Robert Boyce and Brian Downey, President of the Gay Officers Action League. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.